what's up everybody, Ben here from blogwithin.com and today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this guide on finding your incoming mail server hostname. Whether you're setting up email on a new device, troubleshooting email issues, or switching providers, knowing your incoming mail server's hostname is essential. And real quick before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. Also, as we're going through this video, I highly recommend checking out Name Hero's blog post on the topic. I've linked to it in the video description below, but this is a great resource to reference as you're watching this tutorial. All right, with that being said, Let's get started. So first things first, what is an incoming mail server? If you've ever wondered where your emails go after you hit send or why you're not receiving emails, it all comes down to your incoming mail server. This server is responsible for retrieving and displaying your emails and incorrect settings can disrupt your email functionality. So why is incoming mail server information important? Well, three top reasons are, one, it enables your email client to connect to your email through protocols like IMAP or POP3. Two, it's necessary for configuring your email account on any device, including smartphones, desktops, and webmail clients. And three, it helps in troubleshooting email issues and changing email providers. Next, let's find out how to locate your incoming mail server details based on your device. And I should point out that these steps will vary based on the type of computer or device you're using. However, the steps are somewhat similar in that you'll open your email client, Outlook, Gmail, Apple Mail, or whatever it may be on your device, then open the Mail app and select Account Settings or Preferences, and then select your email account. From there, the incoming mail server hostname, username, and password should be stored there. Name Hero's blog post outlines those steps if you need to reference them. Now, if you're using Gmail like I am, Google states the following. The incoming mail server for Gmail using IMAP is imap.gmail.com. The port for IMAP is 993, and SSL or TLS encryption is required. Then the username is the full Gmail email address, and the password is your Gmail password. The incoming mail server for Gmail using POP3 is pop.gmail.com. The port for POP3 is 995, and SSL is required. The outgoing mail server for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. TLS is supported, and the port is 587. And then the username is your Gmail email address, and the password is the Gmail password. And to find whether you're using IMAP, POP3, or SMTP within your Gmail settings, you can access that by clicking your gear icon in the upper right corner of the screen and then navigate to the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. And this is where you can configure those settings. Next, if you're using an iOS device, from your home screen, open the settings. Then open the mail tab. And then open accounts. and select your email account, mine is Gmail. Then open the account settings and your outgoing server should be listed here, which in this case is the Gmail SMTP server. Then if you click on advanced, you'll see the incoming settings listed there which are IMAP. Then for Android users, I'm gonna refer you to the Name Hero blog post. I don't have an Android device, so I recommend following these steps listed in the post. And if you can't find the details on your device, I recommend contacting your email service provider. They can provide all the necessary server settings, including your username and password, the incoming mail server host name and port number, usually 993 for IMAP and 995 for POP3, and also outgoing mail server 
host names, and port numbers, usually 587 or 465. And speaking of email providers, let me introduce you to Name Hero's email hosting heroic mail. If you're looking for reliable and secure email hosting, Name Hero's new email service is perfect for businesses of all sizes. And right now, as I'm recording this video in July of 2024, they're running a sale where you can get started with the starter email plan for as little as $1.58 per month with superior spam protection, high deliverability, and the flexibility to access your email from anywhere. Plus, they offer 24-7 support and free migrations for existing mailboxes. And let me give you a quick sneak peek of the email interface and some of the features that I love. So for starters, the webmail interface is pretty familiar in the sense that you have your inbox, drafts, spam, and filters all accessible here, which is nice. Then if you look in the sidebar on the left-hand side, you have this little nav where you can access different features of Heroic Mail. And when you have some extra time, I encourage you to take a closer look at these whenever you set up your account. But I'll give you a quick tour really quick. So we're obviously in the inbox, but next is the team chat. Once you add additional users to the account, you can add them here and chat directly with them here in the team chat section. Next is your calendar. You can create appointments and schedule meetings, block off time, etc. all here in the calendar. Next are your contacts. As you start emailing people, your contacts will obviously fill up, but this is where you can manage and access all of your contacts. Next are the files and documents. This is where you can upload and store various files and documents to share with your team and others. There's also a task list here as well. You can create tasks to help you stay on schedule and you can also share these with your team. Next are the notes section. You can create notes for yourself and your team, pretty handy. And then finally, there's a trash, pretty standard. This is where you can access your trashed items if needed. I have an entire video tutorial that I've linked to in the video description below that walks you through the process of signing up and setting up a Heroic Mail account and email inbox. If you're curious about the features and how everything works, I highly recommend checking out that tutorial. You'll get a behind the scenes look at the Heroic Mail and everything it has to offer. And I should also point out that if you're already using one of Name Hero's email hosting packages, your incoming mail server host name is mail.heroicmail.com and your login credentials are the ones that you set up during the purchase process. And finding your incoming mail server's host name is key to setting up your email on any device and troubleshooting email issues. So I hope this quick guide has been helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to check out Name Hero's blog post on the topic. Again, it's linked in the video description below, or just leave a comment below this video. I'd be more than happy to help you out. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more helpful tips. And if you're looking for reliable email hosting, remember to check out Name Hero's Heroic Mail. All right, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.